Hey, what's up everyone? It's Dave from Quarterbash. Um, you know, I'm constantly looking on eBay for deals for metal miniatures. I love gaming miniatures. Did a video about it a while back with Raw Partha stuff. I go into my whole history with miniatures there. So I'm not going to do that again. I'm just going to talk about a recent box that I got in the mail from an eBay order. Here it is. Uh, I saw this deal. It was 49 bucks. I liked the stuff that I could see in the picture, although... You're not going to be able to see it here very well, but it looked like there was kind of a lot of scattered pieces. I thought they'd go together to make something good. $49. I, I, let, I sent an offer to see if I could maybe get the price down just a little bit. They took five bucks off the price. So after shipping and tax, I got this for just over $61. So did I get a good deal? I'm going to open up the box and find out. Okay, so here is the box as it was delivered to my door. Here's a couple of tools I may need to use here. You know, I always ask when I order these miniature sets for the people to pack them very well, since you never know what's gonna happen in shipping. And if they're packed loosely together, they can move around the box and just totally destroy themselves, especially the metal ones. This box, they, you know, they were gracious. They said they'd do what they could. It's moving around. The box isn't that damaged. It doesn't sound terrible. It doesn't sound great. I'm not. I'm not really concerned because it. It does sound like there's some padding in there that might. They might have wrapped everything individually or done some version of that. But we'll see when we open it up. Um, let's get in here and see what we find. Okay, so as you can see, I'll try to hold it up here to make it visible. They kind of loosely wrapped the different miniatures. Some have fallen out in shipping. That's a bad sign. That's definitely how you get damage, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. It fell out into a box that is also full of other wrapped stuff, so that's not terrible. These fell to the edge of the box, which can be bad, but I'll pull some of the loose ones out first. Here we have a, uh, oh. I mean, I got this is why I have this. Okay, so this may be a slata, meaning slotted, miniature from Grenadier. I believe it says 95. I was unaware of that kind of a miniature, so that's interesting. Here we have, oh, this is a classic. I had this miniature when I was very young. Early Grenadier, I believe. I think so. It's very hard to read what's on the uh, what's on the base. It's a piece of something. Another piece of something, just bits. Uh, some kind of butterfly, headdress, wing thing. This is a broken off weapon of some sort. And some more bits, broken off pieces, or unassembled pieces. This is a head to one of the miniatures I'll be pulling out, because I remember seeing it. Okay, so I think that's the loose stuff. Now I can start actually pulling out bubble wrap. Let's see what we have. Okay, another head. I don't know what this is, something with a rifle. A hand with a weapon, another hand with a weapon, another hand with a weapon, more bits, a table with some kind of weapons on them, and a base. Base from a company I do not recognize. Alright, some kind of miniature. Yeah, I don't know exactly what these are. It's another base I don't recognize. Some bases. These are military miniatures of some sort. 
I'll set these up over here. got uh, Star Wars stuff, Rackham stuff, uh, various other things, Grenadier, a couple of Ralparthas, Reaper, whatever these are. These are for some, there's there's uh, some sort of like police futuristic in here. I don't know if this is maybe some kind of shadow run type set, but we'll figure that out. This stuff though, all of these larger things that are all torn apart. I'm going to need to put these together. What these basically are, are these large wolf type creatures. I'm not sure if they're called wolfen. They might be called wolfen. And basically, they make some very, very cool kind of large scale miniatures. I've I've put these together before. They don't sell for a lot of money. It's kind of a bummer. I, I can expect to get probably eight to 10 bucks a piece once these things are put together, which is fine. You know, I, I don't mind. I'm not complaining about that at all. I just, uh, I'm gonna have fun kind of figuring out exactly what they are and uh, looking at what I can see from these online and, you know, see how many of these completely I can put together. It looks to me like just from bases, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, no, I, I'm not going to be able to put nine together. I'm hoping at best that I'm going to be able to get like six. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be lucky. <sighs> I'm going to get the money back on this, um, but it's not going to be lucrative. It's going to be more of a learning thing. And I'm going to end up with a couple of like unidentified miniatures, which will be cool. Eventually I'm going to do a video with all of my unidentified miniatures and uh, ask the crowd to tell me if they can find some of the ones that I haven't been able to figure out. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go through and see what I can do to identify these and throw up those identifications up on the screen at the end here and uh, we can see what, see what we've got. So I'll see you in a minute with some of these things, uh, some of these things figured out and uh, yeah, and the ones I don't have figured out, I'll just bring them along later. Moving on. All right, what's up everybody? I'm back. I have gone through, I have identified everything from this batch of miniatures right here that I can, and I got most of it. I got most of it figured out. You know, the first thing I'm gonna say is, I had said that I thought uh, with those Rackham miniatures, the larger uh, creatures, the ones that were, these ones, I had said that I thought there were bases for nine of those, and I was gonna be lucky to get six. No, I got all nine. Uh, only one of them was missing any parts and one of them had a broken part, but I will go over those and I will show you now what I found. So let's go through it. All right. So this guy right here, he goes together base section with legs, torso, left arm, right arm is already on there. This is the broken part. The actual arm holds this spear like this and this part goes on top. So that's a bummer that that's broken. And then this sword, huh, the sword goes on his back. It is by Rackham for a game called Confrontation. This is the Wolfen of Yulia. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. All of these creatures that look like this are Wolfen of Yulia, Yulia. And this one is called the Watcher. Moving on, this fella here, not assembled in three pieces. He is Onyx the Prowler. And here, again in three pieces, the head isn't even primed, the rest of it's primed white. This is a Wolfen Repentant. It's Wolfen Repentant 2. Okay, so these are kind of wild. Let's see if you can get a chance to see that paint job on that one. 
partially painted anyway. The others are just primed. And, and that one has no primer on it at all. It's a little different. So these have a kind of a big name. These are the Predators of Blood, comma, Fangs of the Moon Goddess. This is how they came in a set. Another set that came with two figures. These are also Fangs of the Moon Goddess. And this guy was really cool. I'm kind of bummed though that he's incomplete. You'll notice he doesn't have a right hand. His right hand actually has a sword. I'll show you the photo. This is the Wolfen Prowler. And I'm just going to have to hold on to him until uh, I somehow get that hand piece, which is never going to happen. Or somebody wants him to, you know, do a... Uh, I mean, if you could make a hand for this guy, if you were a good modeler, you could basically make him a custom. Yeah, maybe I'll sell him without the hand and see if someone wants to do that. All right. And finally, the end of the Rackham stuff. This one is from the... I'm not going to be able to pronounce this. Griffins of... Akilania? Oh, maybe I got it right. Griffins of Akilania. He is the executioner. And I believe this was a mail order only figure. He's pretty cool. All right, moving on. These are some odd ones. Let's see if you can get a good look at them. I don't know if I can zoom in close enough to see the real details on these things. These are like space creatures up here. And this is some kind of like space marine dude. What these actually are. They were made by Hobby Products. That was the company for a game called Space Lords. Or at least the line was called Space Lords. These are creatures called Phagons. P-H-A-G-O-N. And this guy is a Cybertech Wartech. He's missing the front of his gun. But he's got a gun in both hands. Had never seen those before. This one is a little bit of a bummer. I'm really into it from this angle, but you're going to notice that he doesn't have a rear wheel on his motorcycle. This is a squat, uh, a squat cycle, a squat bike. Squats being basically the, uh, the dwarves in the Warhammer 40k universe. You can see he's a little dude there, and he's got his chopper. It's got some bolters on the front. Bolters being a form of weapon in that game. And I just don't have the rear wheels for it, which is too bad. However... Those seem to be kind of easy to come by online, replacement parts wise. So I think I'm going to sell this set incomplete. Staying in the Games Workshop Citadel miniature range. This is it's an older miniature. I'm not even sure if they were doing Warhammer at the time when they made these miniatures, but probably because it's a slot of figure. This is uh, an armored Medusa. Again, I don't know how well I can zoom in with this thing and keep details. But yeah, snake hair. Didn't know an armored Medusa was a thing. I thought the snakes were good enough, but there it is. All right, these were hard to figure out. These bases say Grenadier. I think I talked about it a little bit when I uh, pulled them out of the box. But they're slot figures. They're Grenadier slot figures, miniatures. And yeah, it was hard to find them. I could not find a listing for these on Lost Minis. But I was able to find, I think it's Merrillton, uh, a company that has all the Grenadier figures now, currently, and uh, newer stuff. And they had these on there. I believe these originally came in a set of five. But they're skeleton warriors with shields and mixed weapons. All right. These are all Reaper miniatures. Currently available. Pretty easy to find on the website right now. Uh, you could buy any of these if you wanted. They are Dark Rasp, the Death Priest, Classic Horror Wolfman, Tori Doman, Dark Elf, and this is just one figure out of a uh, Men at Arms set. All right, it turns out I had more Star Wars miniatures than I was expecting. These are from West End Games. These are Wookiees. There was a blister pack of Wookiees. Um, this one, take a look. This one is obviously Chewbacca, but what I discovered is... Uh, they don't tend to call on these Star Wars miniatures. They don't tend to call them by their character names. So, Wookiees. And yeah, he's got a bowcaster and seems different than the others. But no, not Chewbacca. And likewise from West End Games, here's a couple of Star Wars Mon Calamari figures. Not, uh, not personalities, even though you might want to make this one say it's a trap. I don't know, he doesn't look exactly like Akbar, But still, Akbar's buddies. 
And here are those miniatures that I knew were sci-fi miniatures, these guys, but I didn't know at the time, these are also Star Wars miniatures. These were made by Wizards of the Coast. They made some slot-based Star Wars miniatures. Uh, again, these did not have character names, even though some of them are fairly obvious. I mean, this is a Jedi character that has a name in the series, but I believe he was just called Alien Jedi or something in these uh, miniatures. Um, yeah, all complete except for this one, which would have been Greedo, except they don't call him Greedo. They call him, I think, Rodian. But um, he doesn't have his arms or weapon, which is too bad. But all the rest are complete. And then that leaves us with these four. Uh, these are just smaller miniatures. I'll probably hold on to these and wait until I have more of a set that I can put them in. Each one of these came from a set, so they're not complete. Um, this is a Grenadier Sylph from the Sylph and Pixie Blister Pack, Fantasy Legends. This one is a Raw Partha female magic user with Crystal Ball. Uh, it's from the AD&D Adventurers set. These are both three-stage player characters, but only one of the three-stage characters you get in the set. This one is the Ranger, and this one is the Elf Fighter. So I'll hold on to those for a bit. Okay, and this is what I'm left with. Um, actually, I did have a couple more miniatures that are figures that I could not identify that I'm going to hold on to because I'm in the future, I'm going to make a video where I try to identify a bunch of different miniatures that I haven't been able to find. And uh, that'll just be kind of something fun to do in that video. So I'm going to hold on to those. But these are just, you know, bits and pieces, mostly metal. I got one plastic backpack. Um, so I know these, I'm sure, came from some different sets. Uh, these look like Grenadier things. If I tried really hard, I could identify the sets. But instead, I'll just throw them in my odds and ends bin. And uh, eventually, maybe I'll be able to piece together full sets with some of these extra pieces. These bases, I don't know who makes them. They got a slot and a peg, and they're round, and they're kind of thick round. Uh, I don't know what these are. I don't know what, what maker makes these. So if you do know, let me know in the comments. Um, and yeah, that's it. That's it for this pile of miniatures. So there they are, bagged, identified, and ready to go up on eBay. What do I want to keep them around here for? All right, so thank you very much for watching. I'll be doing some more of these videos about miniatures as I get more miniatures. I actually have one more big box sitting waiting for me to go through, but we'll get to that in due time. Uh, yeah, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.